Hi, um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the uh, vibration app for iPhone plus the accelerometer all together here. We have a small test bench here that uh, has a rotor with some imbalance. Um, the app is called, or this whole kit is called a vibration uh, single channel for, uh, uh, for iPhone and it's, uh, it's called VibraTest Pro. Uh, it's by Motionix. The name of company is Motion. You can look at the details of this system from the website, motionings.com. Uh, let's run the app. Uh, once you open the app, you see there are a few features here that I'm gonna go over all of them. So easily, uh, you just can connect um, your accelerometer through the lightning connector. And as soon as you connect it, it shows that it's connected and, and calibrated itself. It has a self calibration. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep uh, the whole thing here, I'm gonna turn on the machine and start doing some basic tests here. All right, so the machine is on now. And, um, and what I'm gonna have here, I'm gonna look at the first feature of the app, which is the vibration meter and left uh, top side. Um, if I look at, uh, um, if I look at um, the vibration meter, uh, you see the overall vibration of the machine, which could be uh, in velocity or acceleration. Well, basically here is showing the velocity of the machine RMS, um, and uh, you can change a unit into inch or um, uh, metric and also you see the ac overall acceleration which is 0.2 g here depends on type of the machine the group of the machine you see the definition of the group here um, so you can select your group of the machine and let's say for example that's my group and the base is flexible so you see the vibration is like kind of between green and yellow so you can see it more full screen and uh, see the numbers here, metric or in inch. This is based on the ISO 10.8.16 standard. Also, you can go to setting of the app and change that standard to your own setting and define your own threshold if you want. Um, so when you're here, when you see that number, um, you can email these whole the screenshot to yourself or to someone else, or you can save that recording, that data, that overall RMS. I'm gonna just select record and let's say I have a plant already created, plant one, the machine is machine one, measurement point one. I'm gonna take a picture of the machine using the camera. And uh, let's say that's the picture of the machine. You can add a note. I'm not gonna add any note or anything like this here, but let's leave it like this and save it. It's saved and later you can have access to that, all right? So uh, again, this is a very, very handy, useful vibration meter uh, feature of the app that easily you can send someone and say, well, what's the overall vibration machine? If the machine is good condition or no, just save it for me and send it to you. It's very simple. Uh, let's look at the second major feature of the app, which is a spectrum. Basically, it's a live spectrum uh, that you can see the spectrum of the vibration of the machine uh, right from that part of the app. Uh, you put the app in landscape, all right, and let me just adjust it here for you. Um, so basically, you are seeing the vibration of the machine either in velocity or acceleration. You can zoom to any part of the uh, the mm, the spectrum. See, for example, here is live number live spectrum. You can see the one X of the machine is running at 26 or 27 uh, sorry 2700 RPM. Um, you can of course zoom to any other part of the uh, spectrum and. For example, look at the sidebands or any other feature of the spectrum which represent fault in, in bearing or any other part of the machine gearbox. You can do any of those analysis. Um, here you see the overall RMS of vibration velocity. If you go to setting of the spectrum, change it to acceleration, you will see acceleration. Um, let's uh, go to settings, see what we have there. Well, first of all, you can switch from waveform to spectrum and back. So I'm gonna just go to waveform, and when you go back, basically you are seeing the waveform of the vibration of the machine, the raw data. As you can see, it's obvious that we have imbalance in the machine, the rotor, of course, any rotor, any machine has a little bit of imbalance. Uh, you can pause that, you can analyze it, or uh, let's go back to setting, go to, of course, you can change the acceleration unit from inch to a millimeter, from G to inch per second square, um, or let's go back to the spectrum. When you're in the spectrum, uh, there is another part of this setting that's telling you you can switch your marker from auto to touch. 
If it's an other mode, it automatically detects the highest peak and tells you what the number and frequency is. If you go to touch mode and go back to the spectrum, basically you can um, take that marker and put it any part of the uh, the vibration and see what is that specific frequency that you're seeing in the machine. Maybe that's because of the bearing, or maybe that's because of the gearbox, because of looseness, because of misalignment. Basically, you can do any basic vibration analysis or even advanced vibration analysis using that simple app and the whole system. Uh, you can pause it, you can go to different parts of the vibration. Very, very easy to just move around and zoom. Uh, other features in the setting, change velocity to acceleration, acceleration to velocity, different units, and all those basic things. Of course, you can change it to hertz and to RPM. Um, anyway, so I'm going to just go back. So this is basically is a spectrum viewer. Uh, you don't record anything here. There is another section of the app that is good for recording. Let's look at that part. Um, as you can see here, it's called record. Uh, let's go to record mode. and. This is good if you go to a machine and want to just take a capture of the raw data and later you want to see them and do some analysis either in your computer or on the app uh, or you send someone to different plant, different machine, ask them, okay, capture some data, simple, very easy to, to capture and send it to me. Um, let's, for example, select the sampling rate. You can select your sampling rate. This is a 22,000 samples per second. There are two modes of recording, one of the manual one of them auto. If you go to auto, you can define the length of the measurement, let's say five seconds, and after five seconds, automatically recording stops. If you go to manual, you can start the recording, and anytime you want, you stop it. And the data is here. Now we have two options either export the data right away to an email to yourself or someone else, or go to save. And again, I'm going to choose the same uh, plan, machine one, and the same measurement point, and Let's say I'm going to add another picture as well here, either from the camera or from library. And I'm not going to add any note here. And uh, let's save it, all right? So it's saved, and you can have access to that, all right? So that's very simple, easy data acquisition that you have in your hand. Very easy to use. Anybody can use it and capture the data out of the machine. This is raw data is captured. Let's go to measurement. Now see what we got here. If I go to same plant, same machine, same measurement point. You see those two recording uh, m measurement that I had are here. If I first, let's look at the, the vibration meter save data. It's in, in the machine is in uh, a yellow condition. You can see the pictures are in note here, nothing else. It's very simple vibration meter data. Or if you want to just do more analysis on the same machine, because I asked the technicians, okay, we'll record data for me, it's here. I can go look at the graph and basically I can see the raw data here. So now it's in offline mode. Let me just turn off the machine and you see the data is here. It's not a lo uh, live data. So you can just go to setting and look at the waveform first, see what, how it look like. Well, definitely there's an imbalance in the machine. There are some other frequencies. Well, in order to look at the other frequencies, I can go and uh, look at the spectrum. Well, right here you can export the, the vibration in waveform or the uh, um, spectrum. Let's go back to the spectrum, select the uh, touch mode for the marker. Let's select the acceleration. The unit is G. Let's go to Hertz instead of RPM and let's go back here. So now you see all those vibration here. Any part of the this vibration you can zoom and um, and let's say, well, what is that frequency? Maybe that's uh, something from bearing. So I can just look at that and see that specific frequency that I'm seeing is like, for example, it's like uh, 4,200 hertz or so, which is, of course, a very high frequency of the machine. Um, so anyway, you can see all those sideband do a lot of analysis here. And basically, you can export this whole uh, spectrum as a CSV to your computer by email or send it to someone right from here all those settings that you had in the live mode of spectrum you have here too um, so i'm going to go back to this page uh, again uh, you, when you select this specific uh, recorded data you can export the whole raw data right away or if you need to export it in uh, spectrum you go to graph and export it so Let's go back. So again, this was all about like major feature of the app. Of course, there's a setting here and 
if you use different type of accelerometer, you want to just manually using a shaker or 1G standard um, calibrator, calibrate the whole setting, you can do that as well. You connect calibrate the calibrator and calibrate the whole system. If you want to customize your standard, remember the vibration meter, you can customize that standard instead of directly using the ISO 10816 standard. You can define threshold and when you go back to vibration meter, you see everything based on that threshold, okay? Um, in the more section, you see more information about the app and um, you can forward this app to other colleagues or friends. Um, well, that's it. That was a quick overview of the vibration. If you have any question, you can contact us from our website you can look at our website, uh, motionix.com. Um, we would be more than happy to help you guys. Thank you.